Well, it was a very intense situation in Holland this morning. Police with assault weapons and dressed in assault gear. It took about three hours, the standoff did. It came to an end peacefully. Here's First News reporter Nadine Grimley. Well, tonight we're learning the details of what led up to that standoff in Howland this morning as the suspect remains behind bars in the county jail. 24 year old Ronald Butler is now facing a misdemeanor domestic violence charge, all stemming from what happened on Orchard Avenue in the Bolandale area beginning just after 545 this morning. What do you need police for? My daughter's boyfriend has her hockey. We heard her yell, um, put that gun down, so that's how we were talking. Okay, wait a minute. And he just smashed all the windows out of their vehicle. When officers arrived, they say the alleged victim and a man now identified as Butler were both outside the house. As police approached the home, they say the man ran inside. According to a police report, the woman told officers Butler was upset when he got home that morning. She claimed he put his hands on her, threw her around the house, broke her cell phone and smashed the windows on her car. Investigators say there was concern he had a weapon. He refused officer's commands to come outside the house uh, due to officer safety. At that point, we backed off, surrounded the house, and we called out our CRT team. About three hours after the initial call, a hostage negotiator with the Mahoning Valley Crisis Response Team was able to get Butler on the phone and convince him to come out of the house peacefully. Butler is scheduled to be arraigned in Warren Municipal Court on Monday. In Howland, Nadine Grimley, WKBM 27 First News.